Hey guys, Roman here at Mirror Safety, and today we're here to talk about our full lineup of gas mask filters. We're gonna go into the features, benefits, how they work. Uh, we're gonna go into some frequently asked questions, everything from the VK530 all the way down to the P3 Compact, all available on mirrorsafety.com. All right, guys, so in front of us, we have our seven filters in the lineup, um, everything ranging from the VK530 down to the P3 Compact. Now, these filters in the middle here are gonna have their big brother and little brother version. The NBC77 SOF has the NBC17 SOF as its little brother. The PCAN will have the PCAN Compact as its little brother, and the P3 filter will have the P3 Compact as its little brother. Um, so these filters all have something in common, and that is that they have a P3 particulate layer. The difference between all of them is, is first of all, whether they have carbon or no carbon. These filters right here uh, do have carbon, whereas the particulate filters are just solely to block out particulates. They do not have a carbon layer within them. So going down the line here, we're gonna start off with the VK530 first. So this filter, the main intent is for escape and evasion from smoky areas. Now, the best bet if you're in a low oxygen environment is always gonna be an SCBA, which is a self-contained breathing apparatus, essentially you carrying your oxygen on your back. Uh, however, for escape and evasion, if a SCBA is not available, then this is a really great product uh, that will help you get out of Dodge. So this filter filters out uh, toxic industrial chemicals, along with conversion of carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide, allowing you to breathe it out. And that conversion is rated for 15 minutes. So the VK450 is rated for A2, B2, E2, K2, HG, NO, 20CO, P3R. And I know that's a mouthful, so let's go through it one by one. So over here we have a handy dandy little cheat sheet that's gonna go through all of the ratings. So A is organic gases and vapors. B is inorganic gases and vapors. Uh, e is acid gases and vapors. Uh, K is ammonia and amines. Um, NO is nitrogen oxides. P3 is the particulate layer. Uh, D is dust. And R means that it's reusable, okay? Uh, the letter symbolizes the type of gas and the number symbolizes the class of the filter, uh, which basically means how many parts per million it filters out. So if you see an uh, a, a two, two means that it's 5,000 parts per million. If it's an A1, it would only be rated for 1,000 parts per million. So when choosing a filter, keep that in mind that the higher the number on this European rating system, the better and the more parts per million you'll be able to filter out. So in going into the technical specs of these filters, first we're gonna talk about the similarities and differences of these filters right here, because all of them have activated carbon inside of them. And then we're gonna separately talk about the P3 filters because they are just particle filters. They do not have carbon. So the similarities between these five filters here are that all of them have activated carbon inside of it. And this activated carbon is treated with a chemical process and impregnated with metal salts. And the difference between each one is really a cooking recipe of sorts, where each one of them has different metal halides impregnated within uh, the structure. And they also undergo a different set of chemical processes in order to get the finished product. So now discussing the particulate filters, uh, this is the P3R, P3R Compact. The major difference is this is only a particulate filter. This does not have any carbon inside of it, so it will not work for gases and vapors because activated carbon is required as an absorption media for gases and vapors. This is only for particulates. So let's talk about use cases, starting off with the VK530. So the VK530 is really intended for escape and evasion and industrial applications. It is a filter that takes care of toxic industrial chemicals along with the conversion of carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide, and that's what makes it uniquely positioned to combat wildfires, because when things burn, a few things happen, right? Chemicals get released. Um, you don't know what's burning, whether it's rubber, plastics, chemicals, 
And for emergency preparedness applications, you really want a filter that covers a wide variety of threats for a wildfire situation. If you are also caught in a low oxygen environment, then the um, hopcolite inside of it, which converts carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide, will kick in um, and help you get out of Dodge quickly. All right, guys, moving on to the NBC 77 SOF and the NBC 17. So the NBC 77 is very unique because it combines three different filters into one. It is a filter meant for toxic industrial chemicals. Uh, it works for CBRN agents, which stands for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. And it also has a DIN rated reactor element within it that helps uh, filter out radioactive methyl iodide that gets emitted during nuclear power plant meltdowns and events of that sort. The similarities between these two filters right here, the NBC-77 and the NBC-17, is they're both meant for CBRN applications. Um, the biggest difference is this filter is much larger. So if weight savings is your goal and you're only anticipating a CBRN threat, then the NBC-17 SOF is the right filter. Um, if weight isn't an issue and your agency or for personal use, um, you can stock, uh, you just want one filter that does it all, then we recommend the NBC-77 SOF as once again, it is three filters combined into one. If you look at the rating system here, uh, this is an A2B2, E2, K2, HGP3DR DIN reactor filter, whereas the NBC-17 is an A1, B1, E1, K1, P3DR, no DIN reactor. So this filter will filter out radioactive methyl iodide, this filter will not. Um, this filter is also meant for uh, 5,000 parts per million, the NBC-77 SOF for most threats, whereas the NBC-17 SOF is intended for 1,000 parts per million, so much lower concentrations of toxic industrial chemicals and CBRN agents. All right, now moving on to the PCAN and the PCAN Compact. So once again, this is big brother, little brother, uh, the major difference is the mass of the activated carbon inside of the filter. Um, this will handle more uh, riot control agents. This will handle, handle slightly less uh, because it has less activated carbon. Less activated carbon means a smaller surface area to absorb contaminants. Uh, the primary intent for the PCAN and the PCAN Compact are riot control applications, CN, CS gas, lacrimers, etc. Now moving over to the Particle Max. So once again, big brother, little brother, we have the Particle Max and the Particle Max Compact. These are solely made for blocking particulates. Um, if you're not aware of what particulates are, they're you know dust, mold, bacteria, viruses, things of that nature, um, not gases and vapors, just particulates. If you guys are interested in diving in deeper into the rating classification here, um, I would recommend going onto our website. We do actually have a comparison guide showing all of our filters, how they're rated, so that you can make an informed decision on which filter is right for you. So guys, just to summarize, the VK530 is intended for escape and evasion from smoky areas. The NBC17 and 77 are intended for CBRN applications, with this being the Big Dog, the head honcho for the widest variety of threats. The PCAN and PCAN Compact are made for riot control agents, and the P3 and the P3 Compact are made just for particulates. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.